Well, the Senator Arthur B. Watkins Awards, we started 30 years ago here in the Orem area. And we basically honor outstanding individuals for both here and anywhere north of here. So we do have some that aren't actually in the city of Warren, but it's a great opportunity for us to uh, honor outstanding individuals who have excelled in their particular businesses. Uh, we honor the outstanding citizen of the year, the outstanding businessman, businesswoman, small business, big business. You know, we have all kinds of service uh, award, uh, community uh, business education partnerships. There's a group of about 12 different awards. And they're basically in honor of the only senator we've ever had from Orem, Senator Arthur B. Watkins. And uh, so it's been a great uh, thrill for us as a Chamber of Commerce to be able to put his name on the moniker and basically uh, honor those individuals who've uh, followed suit and done great things. We have a, a large variety of uh, businesses that do the home-based business here in Utah Valley. And we've been, we search out those that are really well known, really done a great job, are well respected, and uh, Domer PR was recognized as our outstanding home-based business. John Pilmer PR was recognized by the Chamber of Commerce as the home-based business of the year, receiving a Senator Arthur Watkins Award. What is the significance of this award for Pilmer PR, and what does this say about your unique business model? Well, first of all, we're honored to be considered for the Watkins Award. Among thousands of potential recipients, we were singled out, and uh, we feel uh, very satisfied by that result. We do have a unique business model focused on providing enterprise-level public relations to uh, emerging companies on tight budgets, and we're uniquely organized to be able to do that, delivering a cost-effective model that saves money for our clients and uh, helps them to get results quickly. Our team comes from a variety of industries, and they telecommute to work in our virtual offices. Uh, we use the latest in collaborative technology to get re fast results and to be able to reach each other uh, quickly and reach the media to whom we outreach uh, effectively. This allows us to include team members from a variety of locations, uh, com communicating with clients and the media uh, across continents and uh, across the world. You mentioned telecommuting as part of your model that has an environmental impact. Can you tell us about that? Because we telecommute, we've saved somewhere around $50,000 in gas in just five years. Uh, we're pretty excited about that. We use less paper uh, since there's, everything is done online. We collaborate uh, over the internet. We deliver uh, documents electronically. So uh, we're saving paper. We pollute less uh, because our cars are parked in our garage and we're saving wear and tear on the infrastructure of our road system. Uh, telecommuting is a great way to go for companies that have a high level of trust uh, and uh, have a great motivated staff like we do at Pilmer PR. Congratulations as I understand this award comes as Pilmer PR is celebrating five successful years in business. That's really unique, isn't it? Well, the experts say that somewhere less than a quarter of all businesses that start off make it for five years. And we not only made it for five years, but we're just finishing up our best year ever and uh, are on the grow. Okay. Now as you look back, what do you believe the keys to Pilmer PR's success have been? Well, I'd say first of all that we have great staff. Really talented PR professionals from across the country with a uh, experience in a variety of industries and disciplines. Uh, second, uh, we serve a great niche. Uh, we don't claim to be a good fit for all situations, but we are a terrific fit for emerging companies with disruptive products and services uh, in uh, industries that are on the grow. Third, uh, we strive to be socially responsible. We give back to the communities in which we work. We care about the future of the environment and we care about the quality of life of our workers and we try to align ourselves with clients and partners that uh, feel the same way. How has the company adapted over the years and what do you perceive the future will hold for Pilmer PR? Well the future looks bright even with the dark clouds of uh, current economic conditions uh, Utah especially is uh, a relative island of calm in the storm of current economic conditions. Uh, but even nationally, there are industries and sectors that are growing rapidly 
and we plan to be a part of those, including environmentally sustainable uh, companies that are doing their part for the environment. Clean technology is a, a thrilling area to be associated with right now, for example. But in addition to targeting the right clients uh, with the right offering, uh, there are massive changes to the uh, PR environment that we find ourselves in. Uh, the new media, the Web 2.0 media, as it's called, uh, requires us to gain new skills to come up to speed and be relevant all over again uh, in areas that uh, have were unthinkable 10 or 15 years ago. Um, here's one example. Uh, a couple of years ago, the Boston Herald announced that they uh, might discontinue their print version uh, in deference to their online version because it was out, the growth was outpacing uh, the print version. Well, Christian Science Monitor just beat them to that uh, as the first major daily uh, type of publication, a newspaper format nationally, that will in fact uh, discontinue their print version very shortly and uh, they will strive to put all their uh, energies behind their online version. That's a major shift, and we have to stay on top of that and deliver appropriate um, efforts for our clients to adjust to the new media. Uh, as I mentioned, environmental sustainability and green are big, and we plan to be right in the middle of that. Uh, so it's an exciting time to grow a business, and we look for great things in the future.